We're not trying to kill one another, so forth and so on, because in a lot of conscious forums, you know, the people that are not actually privy behind the scenes think that we're about to kill each other, man. Right, right. If you're wearing the ankh and I'm wearing the shield, they think that we're about to go to war, man. You guys about to get guns, we're about to get guns, we're about to go out and kill each other. It's not that serious. But that's important that we have to let the people know that I travel. It is, it is, it is, it brings tears to my eyes, the perception of people outside of the immediate circle have about the relationship that each one of us have in New York City particularly. They think that we out to kill each other. Like he just said, they think that we after each other's throats. They don't know that we are mature enough to have discrepancies or disagreements mm -hmm. or different ideologies, but we all still exist in the same, you know, comfortably. Yes, exactly. Comfortably. I was telling people before, you don't have a problem with the conscious community. You have a problem with social media. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to. No one. No one wants to address that new construct. It's yeah. a new construct. Prior to that, there was this conscious community, and some of the things that take place on social media never took place in these streets. Mm -hmm. Now, when I see my brother in the streets, even though I might see something that happened on social media that I may disagree with, it's always loves and hugs. That's something that you can identify with when you come to Harlem, there will always be loves and hugs. Yeah, there's some backroom chatter, but that's dealing with people who lack ch character and integrity because real men, irregardless of what cut, what, not irregardless of what cloth they're cut from, we know if you're cut from a weaker cloth or not, but we all come from a similar background that we knew that if you did have a problem with someone, you would speak to them either face to face and ultimately if it got too serious, there were places that you can handle whatever discrepancy that you had, but that would never get in the way of ultimate goals. Right. So ultimate, our go ultimately, our goal is supposed to be rising our people up back into their higher self by any means necessary. Right. Whatever tool you pull out of the toolbox, I reach in the box, I'm trying to fix the sink, I pull Islam out. I might reach in the box and pull Hebrew Israelites. Many of us walked through these schools of thought and knowledge before to make us whole and we're still here. So it can't be that bad. I've never seen anybody come out of a school of thought and knowledge and say, yo, I wasted my 10 years. Exactly. Or they, they made me worse than I was when I got in there. Exactly. Or they took advantage right. of my children or me exactly. in right. a sexual nature, or they made me a deviant. Right. You don't get that. Exactly. So we're mixing in, like I said, the problems with social media, trolls, mm -hmm. and other people who are in, they, they have inverted personalities, they're intro, introverted, and other, 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 other shortcomings. Mm -hmm. And we know from reports that they put out through studies that introverted people and certain other people who may be shy in public and other things tend to lash out when in social the media when behind the safety of a right, screen. Right, right, right. And, and certain other situations where we shoot the shit on the street. Right. I might crack a joke against Imam Bashir. I might say some real slick stuff. On the streets though, in, in each other's face, we shoot the dozens. When you do that on social media though, mm -hmm. it looks like it's somewhat different. Exactly. Right. It looks as if I'm coming at him. Exactly. I'm trying to drag him. Exactly. Oh bro, why are you trying to drag me online? And then it gets into something out of control. But face to face, we could do it. Mm -hmm. We could shoot the shit. I could talk crazy and everything. Mm -hmm. And then we snap back because we know ultimately who we supposed to, who we are, what it is that we have to do. And not only that, who do we represent? And, I, Facts. and what I want to say also is that for everybody to understand that it's all about community work at the end of the day. We are on the front lines for y'all that are watching behind the screen. Mm -hmm. So our conduct, what we do here, is being scrutinized not just by our own community but by other communities. But see, we need your assistance to understand that if we have a platform in the black radio, Know the Ledge, uh, Ready for R, Maccabees TV, if you know there's a platform, support the platform. Because if you don't support these platforms, then we cannot give you these type of discussions so you can really see what's going on. There's no one platform in this conscious community. Don't be fooled and think there's only one platform. There's right. other platforms that are here so you can see the behind the scenes unity and brotherhood. Again, a family is not always going to grant anything, but at the end of the day, we're from the same bloodline. And what we're trying to tell you is that even though we may have minor differences, there's always a common denominator that binds us all together. Because once we walk outside this door and we don't have any of these regular clothes on that we're wearing or we donning, the police, the white media, they're going to all view us the same way. So right. we're all representing each other the whole of the things that we necessarily need in our community. And we're trying to provide this for you on these platforms. This is why we need y'all support. And we're trying to show you this unity. And the reason why I want all of us here to 
show unity that again, behind the cameras, this is how we kick it. You see, this is a Hebrew Israelite event, but look what we got here. That's right. We have RBG uh, representatives here. We have Amor right here. We have Islam right here, all at this event. So we must support each other's cultures, whether we agree with it or not, because we want you guys out there to understand that the war that's going on is not about our ideologies. Right. The war that's going on is about what they see on the surface. Right. So we have to bind together so that you'll know that we are one catalyst for change. But we need you guys to know this, and we need you guys to support these platforms. So don't let nobody fool you and tell you that we fight in and we about to, you know, because that's what we do in the street. We came from that. We cannot bring that into consciousness. Right. You feel what I'm right. saying? So at the end of the day, we leave our swords at home. We come here, we build, we have intellectual arguments, but we understand at the end of the day, it's about you guys out there. We're here to do this for you. When we bend this up, we're doing it for you because we need representatives in a conscious community to represent you when y'all not there. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So I, I, I'm glad that we have Maccabees TV, that we have Ready For. I'm glad we have these other platforms so people can see an unbiased look behind the controversy because some platforms just want controversy, yes. but at the end of the day, they, we need to have a balance. Some of people call my eye, we call it balancing the scales in Israel. We need a balance so that way you can see at the end of the day, even though we may have some controversy, look how we're coming together. Pounds, because, like, brother, how you doing? Yeah, how your kids doing? How's one, your wife doing? One Better. of the universal laws that always takes place is that out of chaos comes what? Order. What? How new is this experience that we are all having as a collective? Is it not new? Mm. Did, did, did the reins or the ranks get handed over only a few years ago by some of the elders who decided that it, their time was up and they wanted younger representatives, you know, people who come from some of their students to become the teachers now? This is new. This is very new. So we're finding our way. We, we you have to allow us to find our way. They claim this is what the debates were supposed to do. These are what the couch discussions and other things. I feel that at the end of the day, that's ultimately what they are doing. They're bringing, a, they're bringing about a sense of familiarity and understanding and understanding about who our brothers and sisters are in our community. Of course, we want to identify if we do have enemies amongst us. It is important. You must do that. So yes, there are going to be different groups that will be scrutinized and put to the test. Feel what I'm saying? Because if it ha if it is there, it has to be shown. One thing that I know about everybody that's standing right here is that if a European came to kill one of our family members, no, nine of us, near one of us, would get on TV and say that we forgive the Caucasian. So that makes us family. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So that makes us family yeah. automatically. Yeah. <laughs> we know that there's a contingency amongst us that are not for the okie doke. We know that the skin folk is not necessarily the kin folk. So yes, amongst the family, there are traitors amongst us, like the Matrix. Mm -hmm. We know that we in Zion, mm -hmm. and we know that they part of the program. Mm -hmm. So our mission is to unplug them from the program by any means, but if they don't, if they don't accept that pill, if they don't want to wake up, we know what, it, what has to happen. I don't wish any harm or any kind of negativity amongst my people because we are all beautiful at the end of the day. But your scriptures point to the answer. Your scriptures point to it. My scriptures point to it. It tells us to focus on who's ready and who's who's in front of you at the moment because you might lose them. Exactly. So I know I know where the frustration globally is coming from. They want to get busy. The people want to action. Not go. necessarily, you know, in a, in a sense of the extreme. We're not talking about extremities at the end of the day. We could take it there, exactly. but we're not talking about going to that extreme. You don't have to go from zero to 100 on that level. Exactly. Let's go zero to 100 on getting some land. Exactly. Let's go zero to 100 on stacking some bread. Exactly. Let's go zero to 100 on getting on a plane together and going to a different country and actually manifest, manifesting what it is that we say that we are. Our resources and right. facts. Right. So I want to just, um, real quick, before you come in, or go ahead, cool best enough. Go ahead, mm -hmm. what you got to say. Um, it's, it's interesting that we have in this uh, female uh, event, the Hebrew, celebrating the females in the Hebrew community, because as men, We've been taught that you cannot express emotion, that if you cry, you're a punk. Or if you feel something soft, you're a punk. And this is a moment I'm going to use to express something that I feel. I feel like I have a broken heart in this situation. This is why I speak passion, passionately. My broken heart comes from, I'm looking at what's happening in South Africa, right? In South Africa, a one of the biggest racist apartheid leaders has been uh, murdered and now as a retaliation, the white South Africans want to create a big soccer event to get all the blacks, what they call in the blacks, right, in one particular arena 
so they could throw a bomb and get retaliation on a lot of people in one shot as opposed to taking one bullet at a time. Mm. This is a malicious, wicked intent that they're trying to perpetuate on innocent people because it wasn't all those people in that stadium that killed this one supremacist apartheid leader. Mm -hmm. Then you got DR, Dominican Republic, where you got a situation where they're taking what they call in Haitians or anybody who's resemble anything of Haiti and they're saying that you got to get deported from DR and thrown into, and they're violently going in there mm -hmm. and violently trying to evict them from one place to another. I we have these, every demarcation. Right, we have these serious global issues that are attacking us on a physical level with malicious intent. So sometimes when I speak, it looks like I'm speaking divisive because I'm attacking an evolution. I'm speaking this way because as much as important as these ideologies may be, we have to come to the understanding that there's an actual holy war or actual war being perpetuated on us that is real in 2015. I'm not talking about the 60s. I'm not talking um, about, I'm talking right. about 2015. You got South Africans, apartheid folks who run 80% of the land. Could you imagine I come to your land, I occupy your land, I destroy your people, and then I say, you trespassing? You're trespassing on your own land. You're trespassing on your own environment. Like that is a wicked intent. And that's the thing that gets me furious. That's the thing that get me, gets my heart broken, and I lash out. So I'm not lashing out in the sense that I'm attacking any particular thing. It's like, yo, listen, these ideologies are good and they're important. But we really need to focus on the bigger pride. And that dream of coming together, we got to figure out a way to realize that dream and not keep it a dream. Hold on, hold on, just real quick. Real quick. Real quick. The problem right. is that, unfortunately, our people have become punctified. We have become so punctified that we allow our women to be molested in the household by their fathers and their brothers and their cousins and their uncles. We've been so punctified that we allow ourselves to let off shots inside the community and nobody stands up and do nothing. We've become so punctified that 40 years later or 50 years later after the bombing of the church, we allow an enemy come in and shoot up our people. And then we go to a marching stage. So it's like, we, see this is why it's important to have this evolution discussion while I was telling my brother. Because what's happening is people don't know they're the manifestation of God. So we have to let people know that you are a manifestation of God. But what is God? God is powerful. God is the creator. God is not inferior. Or what we say is God, this terminology I'm using. It goes deeper than that, but let's just keep it layman's terms, right? So. God is the creator of all things animate and inanimate. And if you are a representation of that power, you too can create things from animate to inanimate. You understand what I'm saying? That's right. So it's yeah. like power comes when we understand our frequency in connection with the creator. So if anyone's going to tell us we're less than the manifestation of God, then you're going to act less than the manifestation mm -hmm. of God. Right. You know what I'm saying? So our duty is supposed to be whatever philosophy it is, if you understand that we are the manifestation of God, then it's time for us to take our throne and take off, our, um, to take back this earth that was given to us anyway to have dominion over it. Right. In particular, the melanated people of the planet. So it's going to happen soon because the self-destruct button has already been activated. We just can't realize it yet. It's been activated on all of those that oppose your godship inside of you and it's been activated to the manifestation of Satan as well. So let's take back our family. Well, right now, can I just ask a quick yeah. question and then you can build on, that, build on it? I want to ask the brothers from Inner Black Radio real yes. quick, right? Mm -hmm. um, I want you brothers to introduce your platform. Your brothers are, you know what I'm saying, media as well, as well as the brother Ready for R, which I'm going to interview in a moment, as well as my brother Red Pill. You know, I want you to brothers to speak about your platform and tell us what it's about, right? And then I have a follow-up question, which I'll ask either brother or brothers can take. Okay. Speaking on the Evolution Conference, which our brother Imam just spoke about, right? Should this conference really be about who's right and who's wrong? Or, as he said, about empowering our people? In other words, whoever is right at the end of that conference, how does that empower us? Mm -hmm. I know it empowers you if you're right. right. It empowers you. Right. But how do, does that empower us and make us greater and look at ourselves greater as being the manifestation of God that we're supposed to be? So go ahead, brothers. Well, you know, first, of, first and foremost, when you're dealing with the topic of evolution as presented to us through Eurocentric academia, with mm -hmm. via the college universities or Darwinism, it's not like a, that's not a scientific discussion. 
You know what I'm saying? That's more of a soci sociologist dis discussion. Mm. It was formatted from the Malthusian theory. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He took the principles of Malthus and inculcated it into a scientific theory. You know what I'm saying? We gotta first understand that. Secondly, Darwin was used as a front man by the Royal Society. You know, he was used by a front man to push this theory of evolution into academic circles. And um, one, one, one people you gotta study also is the Huxley, Huxley family. The Huxley family, Thomas Huxley, he was called Darwin's Bulldog. The reason why he was called Darwin's Bulldog was because he was able to articulate Darwin's theory of evolution uh, more so than Darwin. So they put him at the forefront in debates. So um, those are the things you got to understand. When you understand the Huxley family, you got to get into um, Julian Huxley, which is his um, grandson, and also Aldous Huxley. Aldous Huxley, he wrote, um, he was key at writing um, books, inculcating it into literature. His theory of evolution, or his theory of population control, etc. Also Julian Huxley. Julian Huxley, he was um, president of the uh, Royal Society. He was also um, vice president of the British Eugenic Society. Mm -hmm. And um, so you see right from the outset that these people had plans of population control right from the beginning of his theory of evolution. Aldous Huxley, Julian Huxley, um, and also you have a man by the name of, um, um, I forget his name. Um, no. Aldous Huxley, Julian Huxley, but basically what you have is a, um, a legacy of, uh, you know, population control, you know, oriented, you know, um, eugenics oriented ideology. Um, Francis Galton was the person I was thinking of, which is the cousin of Julian Huxley, which was just the cousin of Darwin. He was the one that uh, began this whole idea of eugenics. You know what I mean? So this That's takes you right, right, right there. You right. right. So, right. so, so what, what you have now, about, right? what you <laughs> have now, is a form of uh, social Darwinism. This is what they refer to it as: social Darwinism. Social Darwinism. They take a theory that began with a sociologist, Mount Malthus. You know what I mean? Who comes up with a, a construct we today call the Malthusian catastrophe? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is the idea that says that if left unchecked, the population will override, you know, the uh, Earth's food capacity. Mm -hmm. So as a result, you know, we have a natural occurrence through famine, war, and disease that can regulate the population. Darwin would take this theory and say, well, that means it's the survival of the fittest. Remember his um, book is called Origins of Species by Means of Natural Selection mm -hmm. for the Preservation of the Favorite Races for the Struggle of Life. People miss that You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Francis Cress Wilson says that it's white genetic survival. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. In a population where you have a minority of people who live in the mass majority of people of color. And that in a world full of love, we have, we have, we have white genetic survival. Mm -hmm. So all this is um, you know, being mixed up into this whole idea of eugenics. You also had the falsifications with the Piltdown Man hoax, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Which is connected to the all, um, um, Huxley family. Because mm -hmm. remember, um, what's the guy's name behind the Piltdown Man hoax? Um, um, Pierre Tiltart Chardin. He was a Jesuit priest, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, connected with the Huxley family. He co-authored a book, I mean, he, co he wrote the introduction to the book, um, um, what was it, uh, Man's Place in Nature, and um, Aldous Huxley was the, uh, he wrote the introduction to that book. He was also part of the uh, Eugenic Society um, of, by a French eugenist. Him and um, Aldous Huxley was in the same eugenic society that was, I forget the name of the French eugenist, but, he would be behind the Piltdown Man hoax. He was the paleontologist that would falsify the um, archaeological evidence behind the Piltdown Man hoax. So you have a direct connection to the falsification of the archaeological evidence all the way into this whole theory beginning with the sociologists. And this is, um, when you look at the people who purported this, all these were um, from Malthus to Darwin, you know what I'm saying, to the Huxleys, they were all British. Straight down. You know what I'm saying? So. What was going on with the British at the time? They said the sun never set on the British, British Empire. Empire. Mm -hmm. So you had a form of global dominance, you know what I'm saying, once they um, in, imposed themselves militarily on indigenous nations and uprooted their culture. 
You know what I'm saying? So now they're trying to scientifically justify that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Through the form of uh, Darwinism. And you're right. talking about post-expulsion of both Hebrew Israelites and Moorish citizens out of the, not only Spain, but the Iberian Peninsula. So Portugal, right? Mm -hmm. Spain, who are now given the cannonballs to conquer in the name of the church and the crown right. to spread the actual war that this brother is talking about. And then later on, it came scientific. So they formed their conscious community mm -hmm. once they, through the Inquisition and the Crusades, once they murdered or rather what you see now as the war on Islam. So they're sending drones. What, what Obama's doing with his soft kill list, because remember, he's killing potential terrorists. So he's killing their conscious community overseas. So they're sending drones. All of that shit for the last 10 years was, what, they'll talk about, oh, they killed the imam and the sheik and a, and a potential leader of this organization, but they're killing the brightest and the, they're killing those heads of state of their conscious community over there that's, that's right. giving it up. So we, we fast uh, rewind the tape. Back then, what the Crusades and the Inquisition was doing was seeking out the light. They were seeking out the light bearers. They were seeking out the people with enlightenment, burning them at the stake, torturing them, killing them, converting them as well. Mm -hmm. If you become Christian right. and, and to, to take this new name, right. you'll work for us. Right. They'll put you in a translator school. You'll translate all of your work into German, Latin, and other languages that they would understand. They'll take your information, form what is known as their secret societies, their study groups, and then, boom, then they come up with these, and then they reverse engineer all of these concepts. So they were cross-referencing a lot of the information that was already stolen and coming up with all of these different theories. Because, I mean, how are you going to start dealing with this shit so late down the line? You know, when you do the timeline of Darwin and all of them, it's so later down the line in life. So who was dealing with evolution for the last 10,000 years before y'all? You feel what I'm saying? So... What he's saying is on point. It is very important that we walk away from that conference as a collective with our form of defense. Because it's not just amongst us on Facebook. Once again, it ain't about a social media thing. It's when each one of these students stepping out into the world and we got to go up against this beast. Right, right. On to, 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 right yeah. South Bronx. I am best out of Brooklyn. Get my full party. But yeah, let, forget all that, no. all that computer stuff. You're in Philadelphia if you're in Newark. You yeah. know what I'm saying? If you out in Texas, if you're in South Carolina, man, get off that keyboard and get in the streets, man. I'm going to find you and ask you your nationality early. There you, right. go. There you go. Then you got to ask yourself a question yeah. real quick. Mm -hmm. Why do you have somebody in this community pushing this evolution theory as if it's fact? You got it. You got the Amara squad, brother mm -hmm. Uncle Ket. You know what I'm saying? Pushing this theory as if it's fact. So you got to stand back and ask yourself, what is his motive for doing this? This is why we created the program in the Black Radio, blogtalkradio.com slash in the Black Radio, to bring truth to power, to speak truth to power. We're bringing back the revolutionary spirit of Khalid Muhammad, of Malcolm X, of Gari, of all these people. You see, we got Moors, um, Hebrew Israelites, Muslims. We all united, despite of the beef that y'all see on you know social media or any other platform, we all coming together as brothers and we're ready to build right. and, and, and destroy the system of racism and white supremacy, family. Yeah. This is brother Oh God, that's all I wanted to say. I'll pass the mic. Let me say this real quick, real quick. Now, yeah, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Because oh, oh, I just want to add something. Oh, 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 you know what's I'm going to, no, I'm going to be very quick. No, I just want to add this. What's going to be funny is, people are telling us that we come from different species turning into other species. Watch your August the second come out because we want to show and prove that they are not going to be able to produce one authentic fossil that it shows and express a transitional form. And when they do, we're going to catch them and body them and show them that that's fake. And I want to go into it now a little bit, but I said, no, I'm going to let them hold that and let them break that fossil record so we can put that scope on it and black. You know what's going down. I promise you. I promise you. No okay? doubt, family. What's up, R? What's going on? Another, you know what I'm saying, our brother in the, uh, that's right, another brother that's been supportive of the Hebrew community. Objective media. That's the new word. That's the new key word. Objective, Objective media. Because yes. that's what we have standing here. We have our brother R. We have In the Black Radio. We have our brother Red Pill from Know the Ledge. Word. It's all about objective media. What the media Look, is doing to our people. That's right. That is, the, that is the most effective tool in mind control, fear, mongering tactics 
And what fear does is have people forgive someone who killed nine of their family That's members. Right. Fear has you niggas singing and dancing and, and you know, marching and coming up with excuses. Fear has your own people looking at you like you're the enemy. Because if you don't know what they're doing right now, it's it's a nice game of, you know, they're, 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 they're planting the seeds. Right. They, 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 you know, they're priming the motherfucking right. walls for the people to now turn on their own through fear. So, objective media, one of the most, don't ever ask nobody, if anybody asks, so what are you doing? I'm doing media, bitch. Right. Right. What are you doing? Hold That's on. Right. Because if you don't have media, if you don't have the objective opinions of people who are on the frequency, on the front lines, and know what it is that's going on, and can give you a different uh, uh, um, perspective of the story, you already lost the war. That's right. You already lost the war because you are going to be completely deceived. So what is Fox doing? What is Anderson Pooper doing? What is Don Lemon doing? What is CNN doing? What are they doing? They are completely... They, they get the story and then all they do is spin it, spin it, spin it. Take the, they take the meat out of it. They take the, they give you an emotion. So all they're doing is they are rising the rate of heart disease. They are rising the rate of heart attacks. They are rising the rate of strokes. They are rising the rate of depression. They are rising the rate of suicides amongst our people. It is an operation and the shit is going nonstop. And that's what they're doing. It's soft killing us. You feel what I'm saying? So we need these platforms to do everything that they could do in their power. I, I mean, we need a proliferation of it. Don't ever let anybody say it's too much. Right. These niggas it's is doing know. too much. Right. There's too many know. uploads. They're talking too much. Now, Why do they do all of this stuff? What you Smack, want. If, if somebody comes at you like that, karate chop. That's hit it. with the rated R, whatever. <laughs> whatever she can move, hit up, hit whatever hit fatality with that more each one is. Yeah, yeah, man. Whatever fatality each one of these superheroes got, right. hit it with that. Smack them because they don't know what they're talking about. We don't have enough. That's right. You feel what I'm saying? We need documentaries. Short films, movies, yeah, right. animation, it's video games, out. apps, that's right. Right. Uh, uh, magazines, right. clothing. Don't forget that all clothing. That. Yeah, all all that's that. a message too. That's a Just press too. Yeah, that's right. All of the things that we could utilize to go up against this conglomerate. And, it, and, and, and you, as you can see, the guerrilla war does have its effect. The ants coming together to body the elephant. They got multi-billion dollar conglomerates. That's what media, that's the shit that they working with. Right. And it has not been effective amongst our people who operate on a shoestring budget right. to bring the truth, not, not no budget or low budget, a shoestring budget, right. your Metro card, to get this information out and to go up against this, this conglomerate and they can't stop the truth. No. So, that's just my take, you know what I mean? Keep doing, everybody do what they Most do. Def. And for you, that, for you guys that don't know, there's Red Pill that he, he said, come out, come out and, and support and be a part of it. And he actually was the one that actually inspired me to really come out. Him, Tariq Nasheed, Sanetta, and others really inspired me to really come out and put my one, two in it. So you know, readyforart.com, that's number four. Our future brothers like Red Pill, Imam, Dr. Ali, Dr. Ali Muhammad, myself sometimes. And, you know, we here, man. Again, much respect to the Hebrews that show me love. You know, actually, I'm here to debut, debut my first Ready for Raw food product. Yeah. They got the coconut chips. Yeah. They got the hydrated mangoes. And I'm here, man. We here. Ready for all. You know, any questions? No, man, that's pretty much it. That's one, you, I mean, you talked about your platform. That's the most, most important definitely. thing right now. The media is the most important thing right. in this revolution, man, that's getting most the word definitely. out. So the people can be educated, man, about what's really going on in the world, we man. We have to. What I'm doing with this, with the food products, I'm my man, Devon Prospect. You know, he's going to be doing my particular lifestyle, ready for real food, dietary lifestyle plan. So you're going to be Perfect. slim like you're going to be slim like him, man. <laughs> man listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I want to say this though. People say that all the time. I've been slim prior. For me, it's much more of a, 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 a spiritual journey, more so than just quote unquote health. Um, for the most part, what I bring, what I'm bringing right now is that the dysfunction that the brothers was actually talking about are uh, being influenced by parasites. So it's my duty to put myself on a, on a, on a, on a on platform like my own channel, ready right. for, uh, put myself for the scrutiny to, sit, to, to measure my integrity with somebody else. And I'm saying that that is the foods that we take in that actually influence negative behavior and or positive behavior. You know, less parasitic foods such as yeast, breads, cooked foods, 
those are the things that's influenced the, the negative behavior. You know, so more raw fruit, more raw foods in your lifestyle, you'll see your, your lifestyle change, your mindset change, your psychological change, and your spirit more enhanced. So and please. Let me, oh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me run something that people don't know, which is very important for how this unification thing will happen. And it's supposed to happen, or the beginning is supposed to happen on August 2nd um, at the Evolution Conference. We're supposed to, what I did was I talked to the brothers and I said, we have to create our own United Nations body right now, like our own, um, where each organization bring their represent, representatives and we come up with you know, our own institution, our own contractual laws, our own um, moral and ethical codes. So we're supposed to be working on this on August 2nd. So I think that it would be imperative for our people to come out and um, see how this thing go. Now, it's if they don't stick up to that plan and that agenda, um, which Brother Polite and myself said we're gonna do this at the event, after, you know, all the evolution talk, right? So I want everyone to, at least if you cannot come, at least try to um, view the live stream because this is the thing we need to do. So if we could come together and create a, a universal platform amongst ourselves, then we can start literally building community because that's what these other people are doing. They created alliances with each other and don't get it twisted. White people kill white people. White people kill go to war with other white nations. They do this, but they maintain an alliance. You understand? So we gotta bring our alliances together um, because we do have different organizations that are doing a lot of fly stuff. You know, he got the, the raw foods. We need to bring that organization yeah, in. Definitely. You know, we got carpentry. We got, we're setting up um, homeschooling online classes. So much we're doing. You know, we purchase land. A lot of people don't even know that we got properties, but we sneaking up on them. You know, we like, one day, we just gonna pull the paperwork out and say, boom, no more excuses. Are you coming home or what? You know, so it's time for the family to start unifying, coming together. And last thing, and I'm not proud of here because I'm fast and I'm gonna do my thing, but, um. Our people that's God conscious, we gotta start praying different. I Ooh. hope y'all see this. Ooh. So when we start praying, and you know, we have to pray, and then we have to go to work, right? We have to pray that our enemies don't attack us, but if they attack us, we gotta pray that our bullets hit on target. That's you right. You understand? Ooh. If we praying for justice and equality, then we have to pray, and then we have to go out there and stump the ground and make sure we get justice and equality. Because just sitting there praying, we gotta get out of that. You know, uh, calling on energy and that powerful force just to sit inside of you is not really using that energy and that force. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. because the creator have a wrath, you understand? Right. The creator will drown you, as they say, right? Mm -hmm. The creator will use that sun to burn you. So we have to burn back, hit back, stay righteous, but put that prayer to work, mm -hmm. you understand, through the physical. Beautiful, so, man. Like, yeah. I'm going to let my mighty Morris brother have the last word, man. This brother's at every... Hebrew Israel, Israelite event we do. Don't Everywhere we at, this brother's dead, man. Fast, so you know, I want my man to have the last word. Go ahead, King. So I thank you in the nature and power of Allah, the master of spiritual insight and perceive of all truths. I rise to give all praise due to Allah, and I give on to his holy and illustrious prophet, Nobu Ali, Savior of humanity and the founder of the Moorish Science Temple of America. I give honors to you, Brother Priest Daniela. I give honors to all people here convened with us today, and I give honors to you, the viewers. I want to start with, you know, I really uh, enjoyed that the brother was able to break down that science dealing with the eugenics. You know, EU means hillsides, and so when we're dealing with eugenics and we're dealing with either the raising or the falling of certain germ lines. And, you know, laws found Muslim lesson number two, question number 28. We'll go from like question 22 to about 31. And it's dealing specifically with eugenics. It's dealing specifically with the creation of a people. Our people don't have a beginning or an end, you know, but I'm not really speaking at the conference. That's not my thing. I go everywhere because I like to learn and I like to teach. So, you know, my name is Lord Merck L, Angel and Cheney number one, Harlem's finest, Harlem stand up. I'm originally from the South Bronx, you know what I'm saying? And I speak in representation, not of the Morris Science Temple of America. I speak in representation of the, of the young Asiatics and Muslims that's in the ghettos, in the hoods, and in the streets out there every day while coming up hopeless, don't got no idea what's going on. And I teach them and I speak to them. I ask them, what, simple question, what's your nationality? You know what I'm saying? Homie might tell me, nah, Trey, good, we got a conversation going, let's talk about it. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about what's re relative to you at this point in time. Because if you're not talking about food, clothing, and shelter, your knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is irrelevant. Right. And if you don't have freedom, justice, and equality, you'll never attain love, peace, and happiness. 
One thing I know about the Hebrew, the Hebrew, um, the Hebrew Israelites is that they provide food, clothing, and shelter to their people. Right. As a matter of fact, when I came in here, they had for sale food and clothing. Matter of fact, the brother holding the camera, Priest Daniela, has clothing for sale. Matter of fact, I bet you he ain't copped those clothes from the devil. I got this straight from the devil. This devil from the Bronx too. You know what I'm saying? I got some devil drinks right now. We need to learn by watching the example, born master model law, teacher the mirror neurons, and how when you see something, you have a neurological synapses that occurs in your brain that want, that has you experience that thing even though you didn't physically do it. Mm -hmm. So when people see the Israelites walking around in their own garb, mm -hmm. and when people see our people right now being self-sufficient, like my brother right here, yo, I'm not going front, man, I'm fronting on him. I say, yo, man, you got like 50, five, 10 listeners or something. He said, yo, I got like, I got thousands. I'm like, you fronting. He sent me the screenshot, 13,000, so, 13, huh. something like, That's right. like, listen, man, my man set up his own platform. Yeah, we on Blog Talk Radio now. But when we have our own websites, when we have our own dot dot www.angelintraining.more. Now I'm saying www.maccabeestv.israel. Like this is all things that we can do, but we have to remember because we could even even people who are not on a God consciousness. People, you know, someone say, well, you call yourself black, you're incompetent. Okay, but the nation of Islam just raised a million dollars in a fiscal year, and they call themselves the Asiatic black man. There you go. Okay. Now I'm talking about, so let, let put, put, the, put the BS, put the rhetoric, put the talk in the side. Let's get out there and actually do something. There's no reason that I'm the only more out here, and that he's the only more out here, and that he's the only raw foodist, and that they the only people with the, no, it's not right and exact. We not saying do what we doing. We saying do what you do. do. You know what I'm saying? That's and right. if you're not doing something, find something to do. My That's brother right. said he gave you, he told you that he was inspired by people, he was inspired by people who are alive now. I was inspired by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, no doubt, but our dead ass was going to Taj's classes. Mm -hmm. right. and, then I, and then I woke up one day, and I'm in the Morris Science Temple of America. And then I woke up one day and I'm around in the black radio, ready for RTV. Now see, I'm here with No The Ledge Radio. I'm here with Maccabees TV, which is objective media, not subjective, which means that it's subject to one's opinions or someone's connotation. We go straight for the denotation, definitive values, and mathematics. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I stand for. That's what I'm here for. Angel and Training TV is my platform. You now I'm saying the brother said about making a coalition of various uh, organizations. Come on, I, like you see me with my joints like ever since December with the, all the flags from all the different organizations because I'm in all the different organizations so I can speak with these brothers right here. We can talk about black issues mm -hmm. and I'm not going to sit here and say I don't want to talk about that because I'm more and I can still sit with the Nation of Islam, I'll fast with them and still break my fast with some Israelites right here and eat and consume and still learn. We got to stop, man, put that ego to the side and realize that we always going to learn, man. You can always learn something from your brothers. I hope I'm not talking too long, man, but I got to say, every time I'm with Brother Raptor, yo, that's my word, I learn something. If I don't learn something, I'll do push-ups, man. I ain't done a push-up around. <laughs> no, he's deep on the, good. yeah, this brother's deep on the low, but he, need, he don't do no lectures and nothing like that. He keep, you know, he do lectures, but he yeah. don't really do it on a conscious circle, like, publicly, but he do his thing. Yeah, but he's definitely. a deep brother, man, he's definitely. Gonna, he, definitely. He's the definition I mean, of poor. But right he's media, so he's doing... I, yeah, I, I came to Harlem 10 years ago, 2005. I saw a, 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 a place to get in. And I got in, right? When I got in, I might have been the youngest person out there. You know what I mean? Sarnetta welcomed me on 125th Street and told me I could do commerce out there. It's possible. I put my pride in my back pocket because it wasn't easy 10 years ago setting up a table. I'm from Brooklyn. On Harlem, selling t-shirts with Egyptians on it. You know I'm, I'm just saying, coming from where I came from, right. I'm from the streets. Right. I was in the industry. Mm -hmm. People knew me. You know what I mean? I was a, a club promoter. So I was getting niggas pulling up and laughing and all of that stuff. I was getting young dudes, young G's who, who, who looked up to me and my brother when we was in the streets. Coming on 125th Street like, the hell, nigga? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you? Like, you hype, son? Right. You know what I mean? Niggas trying to give me money and everything. Mm -hmm. But it didn't matter because... When I realized that when you live this thing versus study, because I was studying for a lot of years, yeah. but when you decide to make it your lifestyle, when oh. I made it my lifestyle, oh. when I sacrificed all of the superficialness and the right. smoke and mirrors and all of that stuff that I realized, I tasted it and I was like, this is inorganic. Yeah. You That's understand right. what I'm saying? That's I was in Miami laid out with, a, with thousands of dollars on the bed. like. There's no substance. There's more. It has to be more than this. More it, it has to, this. I thought that was the ceiling, and then I looked up, and, and it was no roof. Woo, you know what I mean? So I went on a journey. I found it. 
Phil Valentine, the lecture circuit that existed, drew me in. When I met Sinetta and I saw that he had something moving on 125th Street and I could, I could survive now because I could sell my own stuff versus work for somebody, I made the choice. I've been behind the camera, I've been behind the phone on Block Talk. Yeah. We've been all behind the scenes for many, many years. So it's not about being in front of the camera because that's not where the work is being that's done right. be all the time. The people, that's right. You gotta be in front of your people. Come so on, I'm in front of the people that matter to learn from them, to help them out. We, we work behind the scenes and deal with all kind of crisis management mm -hmm. amongst each other. Family shit, not the stuff that even leaks out on Facebook. Family things, personal things. Loss of lives and stuff like that. We bury people. So it's real out here. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But now when I look at it, 10 years later, look at us. You understand what I'm saying? Look at the youth that's a part of this. Look at this shit globally, a movement. So this is in my heart. Right. You feel what I'm saying? I sat back and I watched it evolve. I watched it grow. I, I, watched, some, I watched that spirit that told me what it was going to do, do what it said it was gonna do. Right. I'm just here, I'm just part of it. But I'm seeing it, watch out, and I'm and what I'm here to say is, it also told me some more stuff. You feel what I'm saying? And if you stay with this shit for another 10 years, you'll be on your own land, right. with multiple children, right. with the resources and assets that you need to travel anywhere around the world, you'll have support from people around the world who would understand not your plight, but your uprising as yes. a people they will be supportive you will, right. you will be protected you know what I mean and, and, and all of these minute things that are that are bothering you at that time will fall to the wayside They'll and as we away. move forward I still see that everything that's taking place right now is a prophecy it's been told it was taught by the master teachers in the lecture circuit over the last 20 to 30 years so I'm not really surprised at right. anything if it. the devil shows you his face are you mad at the devil what are you mad at your people if the devil decides to pull his mask back <clears throat> and show you what that shit really looks like if he lifts the veil like it was prophesied that he would do why would we be even mad at that? Yeah, shit, he loves the devil because the devil gives him nothing. Fact. And why does he fear the devil? Because the devil taught him how to eat the wrong foods. That's why we got this brother right here as you speaking about mm -hmm. that same subject matter. And the brother right here come through, man. He made this himself, man. You, you, he didn't go to Whole Foods, cop a whole bunch, and then come out and talk about, yo, look, he ain't purchased that from the uh -huh. devil. He came through and he manufactured that himself. Right. And so that we could consume yes, the proper foods so that we can have the proper amount of electrons that's in the oxygen. You know what I'm saying? As we breathe. Get absorbed by the iron and the hemoglobin in the blood so that it properly energizes the rest of our body from the nervous system all the way up to our neurological pattern so that we think and write. You so know what I'm saying? Now, what we've done, and you got to know that by being doers, right? Who took time to think, but now we're doers is we created our own industry. That's right. That's right. Not the con, it's not a community yet. Community is when you have land. I love the concept. We're a network who are now created our own industry. We got film, we got music, we got clothing, we got food, yeah, we got, we got beauty, so know that. we got bars, we got, we got health and wellness, we got all of that. Mm -hmm. So now, ultimately, the, one of our biggest tests and one of our most strenuous battles is going to be the gel together. God, I knew you was going to say the that. Only thing. Come on, that's the only thing that's in the way. And there's going to be people that are stand in the way of that. Mm -hmm. and, and we'll have to nicely remove them out of the way as we come together. Mm -hmm. But you got to form at this point. I said, Once you form those numbers, that's when your power becomes real. That's it. Your unity is Fact. the only solution. That's, that's it. it. There will be no money yeah. issues. Right. No fiat issues. Mm -hmm. No. No child support issues. No, sir. None of that. No issues even with finding the mate that you need because what do they only want? is security. security. Yo, God, that's it, man. That's all they're looking for, and a little that's bit it, of prosperity, man. but there are too many, the numbers are too long. At this point, I will not ignore it anymore. I've, I've, I've ignored it before and allowed this shit to carry on, but the numbers are too long, it's too large at this time. So now, you got individuals who have hundreds of thousands of people's lives in their hands. Fact. Hearts and minds of people in their hands, as we saw recently, that if you stumble and fall as a leader or a potential leader in the Talk community, about. you will destroy the hearts and minds of your own people. How imperative is that that 
Now, because of that, now that we see that, my father asked me about the scandal. Mm -hmm. My pops, he was like, yo, what's, you know, so when it, when it, once it reached my dad, I know this shit is big. Right. It just showed you the growth in the reach of this community. Right. That this is not, this is, this is, it's going beyond viral. This is not just viral, this is super viral. This shit is a title, it's a tsunami, it's global. Mm -hmm. So now that you understand that and you can realize that, now that you know that there's strength in numbers, now that you know that you got numbers, each group having 100,000 members in it, each organization having 100,000, the Hebrew Israelites is a million strong. I seen it online, I did the numbers. Look at the videos. Come on. The Moors are a million strong with all of the scattered groups that they have. If they came together, the nation of Islam has to be a million strong at this point. Be. If they're making a million in Harlem, they have they, they're a million they're a million strong. The nation of gods and earths are a million strong. You understand army. what I'm saying? We got the army, huh? We got our the army. Brothers, got our, the our, our, our Pan African RBG. Brothers and sisters right. are about five million strong. They can't okay. wait to get so it. So okay. all I'm saying is, when you do the numbers, when you realize what you're dealing with, every single teacher that is a part of this movement, that is standing on the shoulders of their master teachers who brought them into this movement, because you can't come into the movement unless you're standing on somebody's shoulders. That's it. You can't be tall in the community unless you identify that you belong to this bloodline or you belong to somebody whose shoulders that you're standing That's on. Right. So what were they talking about? That's what right. were they, where were they at when it came to That's unity? Right. What were they at when it came to bringing everybody together and organizing? What were they saying? Right. So if you're not saying that, then you're going against the teachers of your, the right. teachers of your right. master right. teaching right. and you're going against the best interest of our people. So if the, if the number one goal of these teachers is not to bring the groups together, there's That's your right. agent. Right. And get them the fuck out of the community immediately, remove them, because we got work to do. And we don't have no more time to play. Too many people, too many quality membership, too much quantity of membership is patiently waiting for New York to get the fucking act together. Bottom line. Right. And it's not gonna come from nowhere else but here. Right. Not to say it in an egotistical way, but this is the, as you can see, this might be the crown jewel of the movement. And the brothers in the South, they wanna put in the work, I would say that that's the heart of the movement. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? Those brothers like to get their hands dirty, they physical. Those brothers, have a lot of more financial assets and economics than people in New York do have. Those brothers got garages full of artillery and stuff like that because right. it's legal. Right. Right. I saw those brothers building houses with their hands like Mexicans in the South and didn't break a sweat doing it. Right. So we have to learn how to connect these different regions of our brothers and sisters. Philadelphia is where our warrior class is at. Right. Detroit yeah. is where our warrior class is yeah. at. Chicago, Chicago is where our warrior class is at. If this was the Moorish kingdom, that would be a kingdom of warrior scholars and warriors. Yep. The fucking scholars and the, the niggas wouldn't even go in there. You understand what I'm saying? Facts. They would have to call for the head of that kingdom, right. give him his money, a mercenary, hire the troops, right. give them what they want, and bring them into the war. But they wouldn't try to be all up in there. Yo, brother, let me tell you. They could, yo, it's what you eat, not even the eating shit. They probably wouldn't go for it. They like, yo, we eat people. We the warriors. Right. 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 We eat them people. Right. Yeah, but that's what they do, because that's their energy, and that's what they call for. Mm -hmm. These different states, we gotta identify them, send the brothers and sisters who vibrate on those frequencies into those areas to galvanize the people, give them their batteries, mm -hmm. and then keep it moving. I'ma leave it on one note. Can anybody tell me the name of the brother who came from Baltimore and put in work on them two police? Damn, you should know that, damn. But everybody know the name of the white boy that killed nine people, right? Mm. But nobody knows his name, and he martyred. Uh, he martyred right. Eric Gardner. He martyred them. If you understand right. what spiritual, everybody want to talk spirituality. That's Those right. are your martyrs. That's right. You can call on Eric Gardner and Michael Brown to put in work now because blood got shed in their name. That's spiritual right there. That's a blessing from the ancestors, but nobody knows his name. But everybody talk that. That, that militant shit. Mm -hmm. Everybody talk about banging and all of this other stuff, but nobody even held him up. Mm. He's in Potter's Field. They, could, they were scared to even put out a GoFundMe. You could ask Simon right now. Niggas were scared to even launch a, a, a GoFundMe to bury that boy. 
You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's obvious that niggas is uncomfortable about putting in work at this date and time, at this juncture. And hey, that's something that those who speak that information and teach those things, y'all got to handle that. Right. But right now, it's about coming together, unifying, getting our economics together. That's the right. ideology is great. Mm -hmm. We could do that shit after 6 o'clock. Yeah. There's certain things that men do 9 to 5 in a work kind of sense that we should be more reliable. We should be more responsible. You know what I'm saying? As mm -hmm. men, to get in certain kind modes of work, mm -hmm. and then we could deal with idea. That's what they do in the social club. At the social club, you meet up after work, drink, and shoot the shit about everything else. Right. You know what I mean? But during work, you don't talk about that. Right. I was on a construction site. Niggas don't talk about nothing but the check and how we gonna how we gonna build or destroy these buildings. You know what I'm saying? So there's work to be done. The time is now. There's no problems in the community. I, I haven't been to one funeral yet that was inside of the community. There was anybody from the community responsible from. I've been a bunch of funerals outside of the community. Niggas killing each other. Right. You know what I'm saying? But because of that fact that no blood has spilled and we still at peace and we still love each other, then that means that there's no bad blood. Anybody tell you that there's bad blood, that's personal shit. And like I said, grown men know how to take care of personal issues behind closed doors. If you don't know how to do that, you shouldn't even be in this race to begin with. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? That you, need, you need to check your hormone level. You know what I mean? Because if, if you really can't stand in a room with another brother, handle your business. Not in front of the women and children, though. Go behind the scenes and deal with that. If it, if it has to go to that extreme, we don't allow violence amongst each other to the degree that you niggas are trying to um, incorporate and whatnot. So we got to come together, get behind closed doors, turn the cameras off, because I notice when the cameras come out, niggas change. Yes, right. sir. Yes, sir. Like I was saying before, your issue is social media, it's not the community, because it's loves, it's hugs, it's loves and hugs when everybody's in the building. You go to all of the festivals, the energy that you feel, you couldn't be in your nigga self. The frequency doesn't allow you to drop that low. It lifts it up. Because of the, the ionosphere, the environment lifts up your energy. Right. DNA responds to environment. So anytime we come together in a festive mood, niggas is up. Dance Africa, the um, International African Arts Festival, um, Adunde, you name it. Wherever we come, Malcolm X Fest down south, wherever we congregate, it's all good. You feel what I'm saying? The energy is amongst us. So we gotta take that energy and begin building on it. That's it. We gotta, we have to take that energy and do something with it. The magic is inside of that energy. It's right there. You feel me? So that, what we gotta do is just, you know, it's gonna be on the, on the shoulders of the people. Call it. Call out names. Say what you want. Say who you want to represent certain things, and we will respond. Like he said, this is objective media, but at the end of the day, the people are also the media, because niggas listen to them comments. Mm -hmm. Bet that. They listen to them comments. So stop turning into Bruce Banner. Don't be Bruce Banner turning to the Hulk when the camera come on. Be who the fuck you are at all times. Just be who you are. Stop putting on. You know what I mean? Because people see through that. Just be who you are. If, you, if you're a peaceful person before, they, before that red button come on, then be peaceful on camera. Don't try to be no fucking goon. Don't try to be no savage because that's not who you are. We know you. You know what I'm saying? We saw you, 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 you know, don't get summer jammed out here. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's just, it's just important at this point. You know what I mean? We, we would gain more from that. You know what I'm saying? This is history being made with this movement. All of us are part of it. You know what I'm saying? We all have the potential to do what people who came before us necessarily did not do. That is a huge fucking burden on somebody's shoulders. Sometimes I get nervous at home in the crib when I think about the weight that's on all of our shoulders. But why would we sit here? Why the hell do we wake up for? What do we sign up for from the beginning? We knew what we was up against. So we just got to thug it out. You know what I'm saying? We got to thug it out. Some people, when you was in that car driving down south with those kilos in the trunk, nigga, there was a lot of weight in your shoulders then. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you was on that stripper pole, you know what I mean? Doing what you do in front of all of those men who had the potential to do you bodily harm, it was a lot, it was the world, the world was on your shoulders then. Mm 
You know what I'm saying? So if you could go, if you could flirt with death on a nightly basis, on a daily basis for fiat, then you could flirt with it for the freedom of your people and the uplifting of fallen humanity. That's right. That's right. So it's a beautiful bill, y'all. That's right. Yeah. It's a beautiful yeah. bill, man. Appreciate y'all, brothers, man. For our in the black radio, he's done, y'all. He's talking about.